Hello, my name is Sagar and I will tell you regarding the heat fin problem for assignment number 05. Now this assignment is based on a tri-diagonal matrix and uh, we will be using sparse matrix idea. So what is basically a heat fin? Heat fins are extended surfaces of the objects for the purpose of increase in the heat transfer. To do the analysis of the heat transfer of the fin, we assume the heat transfer happens only in the exit direction, ignoring the conduction in later direction. So this is a uh, this is a heat fin as uh, we can see. Yeah, th this is the heat fin, and uh, here we consider that at uh, where L is equal to zero, the temperature is the wall temperature T W, and at uh, distance L from the wall. We have temperature is equal to zero in a in a position uh, at a distance x uh, from the from the origin. We have we consider an element of dx and uh, we apply the idea of differential equations. So qx minus qx plus dx is equal to q constant, and we uh, and the ba the basic idea of differential equations is uh, we convert qx plus dx as a as a qx plus uh, into the total small differential change into the small differential element. So now on solving it, uh, we we replace qx with the minus k a dt by dx, and on solving it, we get we get d square t upon dx square is equal to h p upon k a t minus t infinity. Now here h is your uh, heat transfer coefficient, p is your perimeter of the heat fin, k is your thermal conductivity, and a is your area of cross section. T is the temperature at uh, x is equal to L, and uh, t infinity is the temperature at uh, x is equal to infinity. Now the study of this problem involves parameters like uh, K H T F uh, T W L and also A and P, and these are uh, and study of these parameters makes it a cumbersome job to work on it. So we assume that thermal conductivity is constant and fin is straight. These are our assumptions and a constant. Uh, uh, we have a constant cross section area and uh, perimeter. The above governing equation then can be reduced to d square theta upon dx star square. Is equal to b theta, where theta is a non-dimensional temperature uh, and beta is non-dimensional parameter, which are uh, given as uh, theta is equal to t minus tf upon tw minus tf, and beta is equal to hpl square upon ka, and hpl, k and a are respectively is the conductivity, heat transfer coefficient, free stream temperature, cross-sectional area, perimeter, and length of the fin. So now we have the boundary conditions. That is the value of theta at x is equal to 0 is equal to L is equal to 1 and uh, the value of d theta by dx star at uh, x star is equal to 1 is 0 where x star uh, varies from 0 to 1. Now we are going to use discretization technique to convert the order differential equation into the set of uh, linear equations and also continuous domain into discrete points as shown. Now the linear equations are solved at these points. And uh, since we have the analytical solution to this fin problem, we will match a numerical solution on these discrete points with the analytical solution of the at these points. So let us discretize our domain into n points, where the points 1 and n lie on the boundaries of uh, both ends of the fin. For the particular point i inside the domain, the order differential equation is reduced to linear equation with the application of discretization technique as 1 upon delta x star square theta i minus 1 plus minus 2 upon delta x star square minus beta whole into theta i plus 1 upon delta x star square theta i plus 1 is equal to 0. Now the boundary conditions at point 1 at uh, that is theta 1 is equal to 1 that is uh, theta 0 is equal to 1 and also and the uh, boundary condition at the point n uh, that is theta n minus theta n minus 1 is equal to 0 which is same as the d, d, d theta upon dx star uh, at x star is equal to 1 is equal to 0. So when we assemble all these points in the matrix, the matrix takes the following form. That is, uh, the matrix is a tridiagonal matrix uh, with the uh, with initial conditions of, of uh, theta 1 is equal to 1 and uh, theta n minus theta n minus 1 is equal to 0. And uh, we have the main diagonal, the, uh, the leading di diagonal, the elements uh, below the leading diagonal and the elements above the leading diagonal that is d1 d2 d3 till dn is the leading diagonal a1 a2 are the upper di elements above the leading diagonal and b2 b3 are the elements below the leading diagonal 
so this these are, we have these many equations uh, linear equations and now we are going to solve them so now we have the exact solution to the given equation that is theta exact is equal to cos h root beta 1 minus x star upon cos h uh, root beta here theta exact x star n are n cross 1 dimensional vectors in the formula for exact solution e theta exact can be calculated by substituting x star i is equal to x i upon l for uh, different values of i and here x i is equal to i dot l upon n so for every theta i every i we have a value of theta exact now we will solve the get the sparse matrix uh, using gauss elimination first and then using the better efficient algorithm of uh, thomas so let's see the code now first of all i will explain you the code to solve the given matrix uh, using gauss elimination first of all we open the file result1.dat where we will be printing the output now we take the value of uh, beta and n from the user and uh, here at initialization matrix we will initialize the matrix so now we go to the procedure and we see that we are going to initialize the matrix that where ai will be equal to ai1 a1 and bi will be equal to b1 di will be equal to d1 and di will be equal to ri will be equal to 0 also we apply the initial conditions where a0 is equal to b0 is equal to an minus 1 is equal to a0 and d0 dn minus 1 and r0 all equal to 1 and b of n minus 1 is equal to minus 1 as uh, it was uh, mentioned in the uh, in the given matrix like this so next uh, we go and uh, we create ma a matrix uh, is equal to compose matrix uh, where we give the n a b d and r estimated uh, as the, um, the required parameters r estimated was uh, was the calculator and that we calculated from the initialized matrix so in the compose matrix uh, we will uh, it is a it will return a double star pointer that is a matrix and also the double star now we declare double pointer mat uh, with a double uh, of double type and for mat i is equal to double star malloc uh, we are uh, we provide space uh, we are allocate space of uh, n size to the to the matrix uh, every ith uh, row of the matrix and we initialize first initialize it to zero then if uh, i minus 1 is greater than or equal to 0 then we will uh, we will uh, give mat i uh, and i minus 1 is equal to bi and mat i i is equal to di and if i plus 1 is less than n then we will uh, provide mat i i plus 1 is equal to ai now for uh, j is equal to i plus 2 till j is less than n j plus plus we put mat ij equal to 0 and then we return the matrix so now since we have created the matrix uh, uh, first of all, uh, we we are going to print uh, print the value of ai, and uh, then uh, we are going to print the value of b, print the value of uh, matter, print uh, print the value of d, and uh, print the value of r as it was uh, asked in the question. These are just the these are just the arrays uh, which are storing the value of a, b, d, and r. So after this, uh, we we first uh, call the function cost elimination. In the row echelon form so now first of all we convert uh, the gauss elimination uh, the matrix into row echelon form where uh, all the uh, elements below the leading diagonal are zero and uh, we consider that we don't know that it is a sparse matrix and uh, that we that the values are zero below the leading diagonal below the two below the leading diagonal so we calculate the uh, calculate the values of uh, matrix uh, for uh, uh, every element so it's a n square loop for i is equal to 0 i is less than n i plus plus and for j is equal to i plus 1 j is less than n j plus plus we just calculate uh, we just convert it into row echelon form so after that uh, since the matrix has been converted to row echelon form we send it to the gauss elimination and uh, we calculate the estimated value here, uh, since uh, we have, we will have the elements. Uh, the last element will be equal the ma matrix uh, will have the last element equal to the ri, and uh, then we will have uh, two elements uh, above. This is a type of a row matrix uh, where the all the elements below the leading diagonal are zero. 
so here we will have like uh, 6x uh, is equal to 8 and then we can calculate the value of x and then we will put the value of x in this equation and we will take the value of 5 of x minus 1 uh, plus this and then we will have the value for this variable then we can uh, since we have the values of both these variables we will put these values in the previous equation of 4x plus 5y plus 6z is equal to 8 and then we can get the value for the for the variable uh, at uh, the fourth location so using this using this uh, we can uh, get the solution to the given uh, equation now since we have uh, calculated the gauss elimination mat matrix we will calculate the exact theta using the formula using the using the formula that was uh, given using this formula of theta exact is equal to cos h root beta 1 minus x star i upon cos h root beta and we know that uh, we can uh, we have to replace uh, for theta exact uh, the i we will replace by i by n for x star since uh, x star is nothing but uh, i upon l uh, as it was uh, as it is given that we can replace x star i is equal to x i upon l so after that uh, what we have now is that uh, we close the clock and uh, we can pre we print the time for the for, we, we print the time taken for the whole procedure and the memory used in this time and now we will uh, print uh, now we will print the uh, error the value of uh, x star the r exact r estimated and the r exact and uh, for uh, this is for the for printing uh, uh, if we want the output on the terminal so if n is less than equal to 20 we can easily output on the term put the output on the terminal so it's for the first part where we have to put uh, n is equal to 11 um, this for the first part where we have to put n is equal to 11 and uh, value of beta is considered to be like uh, some something like 1100 so this will print the output on the terminal and uh, here we close the file and now we call the gnu plot uh, function where it will uh, where it will uh, set the terminal uh, in enhanced mode the value of x label will be x star the value of y label will be theta and uh, it will plot the data of result one dot dat from uh, columns one and two and uh, it will name it as theta calculated and also one and three using theta exact the result one dot dat was the file uh, that we created uh, and we output the data here so after that uh, the genu plot will be executed and uh, we will get the output something like uh, this so now i am going to run the program uh, the program is named uh, fin uh, fin so first of all you compile it then now i am going to run it we input the value of uh, beta is 100 and value of n is 11 so first of all uh, a it is the array a the array b the array d and the value of r the proto process was completed in 0 0.0047 seconds which is like 47 milliseconds and also the memory used is equal to 4.73 kilobytes so this is your matrix after gauss animation was performed and this is your graph that's been performed that, that has been performed this is your result one dot that file which has the value of uh, x star the r estimated and r exact so now i'm going to explain to you the code uh, using the thomas algorithm we the initially we take the input in the same format and the uh, also initialize the matrix then uh, we call the thomas row echelon and uh, thomas uh, elimination estimated uh, two procedures uh, the functions uh, so thomas row echelon uh, here we use it is not a n square type that as it was in the gauss emission but it is a n type uh, function because we know that um, maximum elements are of the since we know that it is a sparse matrix we have the value zero so from i is equal to 1 to n uh, we we keep that di minus is equal to ai minus 1 star bi divided by di minus 1 and ri is equal to ri minus is equal to ri minus 1 star bi divided by di minus 1 and uh, since we have uh, created the row echelon matrix the, now we will uh, uh, we will uh, pro, we will use thomas animation estimated now we declare int i and uh, r estimated of n minus 1 is equal to r of n minus 1 divided by dn minus 1 i is equal to n minus 2 we go from uh, back to front uh, as uh, that is we go from last uh, of the matrix to the first element and uh, since we uh, we get the values of the next element uh, and the 
previous element's value depends on the next element we can calculate the previous element's value the algorithm is uh, as it was mentioned in the program it is uh, we have the pseudo code for it the the elements of the the uh, leading diagonal are di is equal to di minus ai minus 1 the elements uh, the element above it the elements ai minus 1 and uh, divided by bi minus 1 uh, into bi divided by di minus 1 and also ri we perform the same uh, same functions the uh, same operations in, on the ri uh, because uh, we the operations performed in the, on this matrix uh, and uh, this matrix should be same so we here after solving these uh, we get the value for the ri and di and now we go for the backward substitution that the loop that where theta n is equal to rn divided by d, d, dn and uh, the backward substitution is same as uh, what we are doing here for n minus over 2 to i is greater than or equal to i minus minus this is the backward substitution in the actual code uh, after uh, the step uh, b and c both are the backward substitutions now the next part is quite same as the Gauss elimination uh, method we calculate the theta exact uh, also we print uh, the time uh, taken for the process and the memory used and if n is less than 20 we try, we output the um, r estimate and r exact uh, on the terminal and also we call error graph function uh, which is depends on the only on the value of beta and uh, also the value of uh, r estimated and r exact so in the error graph uh, function we we open the file result2.dat and also we output the output the value of uh, error x star and uh, error and x star into the file and uh, also for every time for different values of n uh, we consider we output the value different values of i so we have this loop which calls uh, error for every time uh, for every value of n so now and after that uh, we will have the gnu plot pipe uh, it was as it was same for the gauss elimination so now I will show you the working program. The program is named uh, Thomas.c and we first of all it will compile it then we run it. First of all we will output the value of beta as 100 and n is 11. So we get the same type of uh, uh, so we get the output as it was uh, in the Gauss elimination method. Now if we increase the value of uh, n like uh, you can see the time that it is like it is 0 0.00017 seconds which is less than the time of um, th time of the gauss elimination so now we will output uh, like uh, increase the it is to n2000 now the time increases and we get 0 0.00151 second and memory also increases now we increase the value of n to like uh, 10000 and now also we can see that uh, the total process is complete in 0.001446 seconds and uh, which is much much better than the Gauss elimination method because it's a, a order n operation while the Gauss elimination was order n square also you can see that uh, the we are getting the graph the graph is between error and n and the value of n uh, starts from uh, 10 till uh, 500 and also the now I will show you the output file it is result2.dat these are the value of n and this is the value of error it is a it is a decreasing function I hope you liked my video tutorial for the fin problem thanks for viewing